you know, if you're like me, you've probably heard somebody say, hey, you got to use the right tool for the right job. Otherwise, it just takes forever. Uh, you don't want to use a screwdriver as a hammer. Well, Microsoft Word and Microsoft Excel have very distinct purposes. The primary purpose of Microsoft Word is creating words, things with words, documents, letters, um, reports. And of course, Microsoft Excel, the primary purpose of that is calculations. And if, if you watch some of, some of my other videos, you've seen that we can very easily take information that's in Excel and pop it into Word uh, to do our calculations in Word. But, you know, there are some times where Word does overlap. And Microsoft Word will allow us to do some very simple formulas and actually even beyond simple formulas inside our tables. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create some very easy formulas in Microsoft Word to work with the data that's already in your tables. So here I have a document uh, and it has a table in it that is uh, first quarter sales for widgets, doohickeys, and thingamajigs. And what I'd like to do is very simply and easily add the total for each of these months. Now again, I, I could do this in Excel, probably would be smarter in the long run, but uh, since the numbers are already here, I'm just going to go ahead and create a very simple formula. Well, to do that, you click inside the table, actually probably click where you want the formula to appear. Uh, on the ribbon, you'll go ahead and go to the uh, Table Layout tab, and there at the far right, you'll see Formula. Now, Microsoft Word is smart enough to assume that uh, probably the most common formula that we're going to be working with is summing, and probably in most cases, we'll want to sum the numbers or the values immediately above this particular cell. Now, you'll actually see the word above, which you don't really use in Excel, but uh, Microsoft Word allows you to use the words above and left and right and, and below even. Well, I'm going to go ahead and leave that as it is, but I'm also going to show you that in Microsoft Word, you can change your number format. And so I'm going to add currency formatting here as well, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, so there is a total very quick and easy. One of the problems though with this uh, particular way of doing math in tables in Word is that it does not automatically update like you're used to seeing in Excel. So if I just put in 900 here, notice that it doesn't update even when I click outside the cell. In order to have it update, I'm going to have to update the field. So I right click inside the cell with the formula, which is a field, and I click Update Field. Now, I can copy this formula. I'm going to go ahead and make sure I have the whole cell selected. And I'm going to paste it over here, and I'm going to paste it over here. Now, the formula is correct, but it brought in the value from January. So if I want it to be the correct value, and of course I do, I'm going to once again right click and choose Update Field, and right click and choose Update Field. Now, Remember that uh, if you've worked with fields a lot, you could actually just do a control A and then go ahead and click on update field and it updates all the fields for you. So uh, it's, it's not a real insurmountable problem to work with, but uh, when you just need some quick and dirty numbers in Microsoft Word and the, the uh, data is already there in the table, it's very easy to do. I'm going to go ahead and add another row here and I'm going to go ahead and put it in an average here. This is going to be a little bit more complex. Uh, we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, almost Excel math here. So I'm going to go back to Table Layout, and I'm going to click Formula. Well, it defaults to the sum, and I don't want to sum the above, or I'd end up with double what I have now. But I can go down here and click the Paste Function drop-down list, and notice that we have all kinds of functions here. We have the average, we have min, we have max, uh, some basic uh, stats functions. We also have round and true. Well, I want average. I'm going to go ahead and click the average here. Well, now what do I do? I can't say average above, or I'll end up with double the average because it includes the total too. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and pretend this is Excel. And I'm going to say I want the average of B2 through B4. And let's go ahead and put in the same number format here. OK. Well, now I run into another little problem, and that is when I get ready to copy this. If I copy this and paste it over, well, unlike Microsoft Excel, it doesn't adjust the formulas for me. In fact, let me just prove this to you here. Let's go ahead and right click and choose Update Field. Notice it stayed the same. Uh, it didn't change. And that's because this formula stayed B2 through B4. And, and you know, even though we don't see the column letters and rows, uh, this is column A, column B, C, and D, row 1, 2, 3, 4. So I have to actually go in here and modify the formula. So I'll go back in to the cell, I'll click on Formula, and I'm going to change it from B2 to B4 to C2 to C4. Everything else can stay the same. 
All right, that looks better. And I'll go ahead and do the same thing here and change this one to D, column D2 through D4. All right, so you've seen really it's very, very easy to do some basic simple math in Microsoft Word. Uh, in most of the time, you're going to want to use Excel, but there are some times when you just need some quick and dirty numbers in Word, and it's very easy to do that just using the formula tool on the table layout tab. All right, if you like this video, please consider liking it. Please consider subscribing. You can find many other videos and resources on my website, luthermaddy.com. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next video.